What's up guys, my name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. In today's video, I have seven outfits for you to show you how you can stylishly rock shorts when it's really hot. Because it's easy to step outside in a wife beater and shorts and call it an outfit when it's too hot outside. But let's focus a little bit on the style. I'll be walking you through tops, bottoms, and footwear to eloquently solve this issue with you guys today. Before we get started though, I'd like to point out that at the end of this video, I'll be responding to some of the previous comments. I know I've been really quiet in the comment section, I've been reading everything, but I like talking a lot more than writing, which is why I have a YouTube channel. So stay tuned until the end of the video for that part. Let's talk about the fashion though. Right now I'm wearing outfit number one and I'm wearing the first pair of shorts. These are from Madewell and they're a cut off chino short, which I really, really like the aesthetic as well as the fit of these. Up top, you see me wearing a printed shirt that is from Topman and is a viscose fabric. Viscose is a fabric that will keep you really, really cool and breezy throughout the entire day. It's nice, it drapes nicely, it looks really nice and classy. And then I finished the look off as a German with my Birkenstocks. Open toes, open feet, a lot of air. That's what you're trying to go for with your footwear if it's really, really hot outside. Alpha number two, and let's start from the bottom up. We have a pair of espadrilles. They are suede espadrilles that I picked up at Aldo very, very recently. And up top, we have a white combo, an all white combo. White does not retain any of the light. It will keep you cooler because it just reflects all of the light. I'm wearing a seersucker fabric shirt from Canali up top. It's long sleeve. That's like the one thing I honestly like short sleeve shirts. Some of them look great, but I just roll them up and it's, yes, it's a little excess fabric right here and it's a little less breathable, but for me, the style prevails a little bit. And with a fabric like the seersucker fabric, a very summer oriented fabric, I think you can get away with it. And with these white ripped shorts from Express, I think it's actually kind of a nice juxtaposition of like a dressed up vibe and a little bit more of a rugged vibe on the lower half and then just adding, like I said, a little bit of the color in the suede espadrilles at the bottom. And before you say anything, yes, if you want to keep your feet even cooler, opt for canvas espadrilles, not for the suede ones that I found in the store yesterday. With look number three, we're sticking to the summer fabrics. Up top, I'm wearing a white linen shirt from Olymp. As always, you Europeans know the brand. Unfortunately, you can't get that in the US. Also, a long sleeve. Same argument as before, style over minimal difference in the actual heat ability, cooling of this outfit. Uh, on the lower half, we're having a little bit of fun with color. And I think when you go for color, it should be a little bit more of the brighter ones, a little bit more of the, you know, springy, summery type vibe. So I'm this summer really loving yellow, as you can kind of see over here as well. And to finish the look off, I'm wearing a pair of white Ankari Flores sneakers. Yes, they are leather. The first two options are probably a little bit more breathable, but I wanna show you and walk you through the different things that you can do, and I think I wear these throughout the summer and it's fine. But the other thing I wanna point out, this is a nice and casual look, but we could also dress this up fairly easily. A pair of loafers and tucking in your shirt will definitely make this a little bit more of a dapper look. And I think for me, loafers next to espadrilles are probably the only dressy shoes that really, really work for the summer for me. So I am happy with this look either way, either with the sneakers a little bit more leger or a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more dapper and a little bit more preppy in this case. Before we get started talking about outfit number four, there's three things I'd like to point out. Number one, I like you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Number two, if you like what you're currently watching, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more content like this coming to the channel on a weekly basis. Number three, there's a few general takeaways that you may have already picked up on. Number one, no dark colors, no black, definitely, because it retains heat, stick to lighter colors. Within lighter colors, stay away from denim fabrics and stay away from gray colors because those types of shirts will show you sweat circles under the arms and just generally sweat a lot more easily and that's something we are obviously trying to avoid. Also stay away from wool fabrics, always go for more lighter, breathable fabrics, like a seersucker, like a linen, even like cotton, but then it depends, go for a lighter cotton before you wear anything that's just too thick. And then one more thing with heat is also usually sun protection. So for me, long sleeves are fine at times because I burn fairly easily, I'm fair skinned. I need long sleeves at times to keep me protected from the sun even though that might mean that it keeps me a little bit warmer so that's something I want you to remember. Which also makes layering okay, but I'll show you that in the next few looks. Outfit number four is a very simple outfit and I wanna kind of work off of that. The easiest thing to put on in the summer is a t-shirt and shorts and shoes. So 
how do you make that a little bit more interesting without adding layers, without adding fabric? So a graphic t-shirt, like the one I'm wearing right now, is from my buddy Isaac Likes. It's a very minimalistic graphic, but it's still something that makes it a little bit more interesting without adding any heat or adding any fabric. On the lower half, same thing with the shorts. The shorts are a pair of tan shorts, so nothing too spectacular, but even just the simple detail of these large patch pockets makes these a lot more interesting to the eye. And then I finished the look off with the only pair of high tops in the entire footwear lineup today, and that's a pair of canvas white Converse that I, I personally just love. Like, yes, they're high tops, it keeps the air a little bit more trapped in there, but at the end of the day, they're canvas, they're a little bit more breathable, they're a lightweight shoe, and even just for the aesthetic, they definitely work with the rest of you know, all these summer outfits. Last note, adding accessories is a really easy way that without heat adds to the look. So a pair of shades like these, brand new from Jade Black from their latest drop, I absolutely love these. And uh, I have a few rings on and a watch, so I think by now hopefully you have something like this in your wardrobe just to spice up a simple look really, really easily. While we're on the topic of accessories, yes, you thought you may have seen the last of the bucket hats, but in this case, it's actually a very functional addition to the outfit in that it protects my head from the sun. I I think the first bucket hat I ever wore was to protect it from the rain. Now I actually actively use this. And also we got the color back into play. I talked to you guys before about the yellow. As you can see, I still like the yellow. I paired it with a pair of yellow old school Vans that I really like. If you haven't seen my Vans video yet, neither of them. Links are down below, so make sure to check those out. The rest of the outfit is a simple ripped tank top and a striped short from Hollister. I really like this, it's just like, it feels beachy, relaxed, I don't know if I could walk through through an Italian village like that and be like, well, maybe like an Italian beachy village, like the Amalfi Coast, I don't know, that's what I'm thinking about. But to the point of layering that I was just trying to make, I would very easily burn with this. So adding a very, very lightweight cotton shirt like this one from Barber not only makes the whole look a lot more fun. It also protects me from the sun, and if I roll it up a little bit, it still looks summery and it's still breathable and light. So layering is definitely okay, especially when it comes to the point of sun protection. Not all fabrics protect you from the sun, so still make sure to put on sunscreen if you are fair skinned and afraid of burning, so it's just helping a little bit. With the second to last look, I have a couple things that I want to point out. Number one, and that's different from everything we've seen so far, is the baggy silhouette. I'm again wearing a sleeveless top, but this is a lot more breathable than the ripped tank top that we just saw. And even the shorts that I'm wearing on the bottom are actually from Massimo Dutti. They might not really look it, they look a lot more street because I got them two sizes too big, but I liked the way they looked either way. And on my feet, we have now the same old school Vans, but in white leather. And yes, I'm sorry, guys, please don't hate me. I already messed them up. I wore them once on a July 4th party and they already are a little dirty. I'm not great with keeping my white sneakers clean. But you guys do be better than me, please, thank you. So overall, the all white look is definitely something that works out of the reasons that I explained before. But I also wanted to have a little bit of fun with this. So here's two quick ways of changing this look up a little bit. Number one, throwing on a denim shirt. And I told you before, don't wear a denim shirt if you know you're gonna start sweating. So that's kind of like a prerequisite for trying to pull this look off is that it's not super, super hot, but I still like the way it just looks. Overall, I think it, adding a little bit of color just bases the whole look. Alternatively, you can tie it around your waist, add the color that way, avoid the sweat stains and avoid the extra layers. And that's look number six, 6.5 and 6.575 for you guys. And for look number seven, the last look today, if it's really, really hot outside and just take the freaking shirt off, put on some swim shorts, put on any pool slides, ideally from Olibar and Brown, like these shorts are too, and chill in the shade by the pool, hop in the water if you're overheating. A little bit of a lighter ending, but I hope you guys enjoyed all of the seven outfits that you saw today. Now it's time to respond to some comments, but for that I'll hop out the studio and into something a little bit more comfortable. And here we are somewhere in Canada in an Airbnb. And the way I see this going, honestly, is more so that I respond to all the comments from like the top comments from the previous video. Now the previous video I uploaded is one that was pretty heavy and the comments were really heavy, so I might actually do an entire video on that. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. Uh, talk about, you know, my difficulties with being an influencer. But for today's video, we're gonna focus on the video I uploaded before then, which was my LA moving vlog. And that's the comments, let's jump right in. Um, comment number one, vlog number 69, we'll just, yeah. 
It was nice. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that to my attention. It's, it looks like Alex Costa's place. Do you happen to be neighbors? No, um, it's a similar style of place. It's a loft, yes, but uh, we're like 10, 15 minutes apart and Alex actually is about to be moving. So uh, we're close, but we're not neighbors. I always, Andre Vergara says, I always thought of you as the New York guy. I hope you don't uh, become like any other cliche YouTuber, but for real, for real, LA is nothing like New York. Now, I don't know what a cliche YouTuber is. Like, I think you guys know me pretty well by now. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. It doesn't really matter whether I'm New York or LA. Um, I just think it's going to be a lot easier to shoot a lot of stuff in LA, like I said in my vlog. But uh, yeah, LA is nothing like New York. I know that. And I still have one foot in New York. I think it's just offering a lot of opportunities in the way that I want to be going and, you know, maybe doing some TV stuff, some hosting stuff. Um, there's a few things in the works that I, I think I'm, I'm really excited about. I hope you guys are too. So it's not that I love LA more than New York by any means. It's just that I want to give it a shot and see where it takes me. Let's just do a couple more and then, uh, you know, just so you get an idea for this, I would love to see what you guys think about it. So leave a comment about the comments in this video down below in the comment section. A bunch of you said, actually, well, I'll just mingle a bunch uh, together for like the last response. A bunch of you said that I, uh, I'm it's douchey or like, why am I wearing sunglasses inside? I'm like, first of all, I got a big ass nose. So if I slide my sunglasses down, that's fine because I can still see. Uh, I don't think it's a douchey thing. I, 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 I know a lot of you guys watch a bunch of different YouTube channels and many, many YouTubers are quick to tell you what to do and what to not do and uh, kind of tell you to like, I feel like they promote judgment a little bit. I'm like, don't judge. Like I sometimes have my shades on because I forget when I walk inside. I'm also photosensitive. So you never know, like, and I'm, I'm not trying to be d defensive about myself. I'm just trying to say, you never really know what somebody's going through. Like if you think it's douchey, okay, fine. But like, let them live their life. And like, that's just, I've, I've, that's a nice, I feel like that's a nice life lesson to finish up on today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like the shorts video and I hope you like this comment section. I'll see you guys very, very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay down for guys. Bye.